So it's important to uh, adjust how the scheduling page looks like uh, because it really affects how someone is going to book with you. So we're going to look at how uh, we can set up the scheduling page, its appearance. So we're going to scroll down to the settings here where it says customize appearance under client, client schedule page. When you click that, you go to appearance, which is the first step. So the first settings that, that I want to talk about is how how it looks when someone books with you for example here it says daily that's the default setting so a person would only see a day the times that they can book for that day uh, let's look at how it looks like let's view a live page as you can see here when someone wants to book today is the 19th of december when i'm making this video you see a person only has access to today's meetings they want to see more they have to click more times you see, it is now talking about the next week, the third week. So it's mainly focused on that day. However, you might have uh, clients who want to book into the future, probably next month. How do we do that? We simply change it to monthly here and we then update that. Let's see the changes that come. They are quite significant. Refresh that. You will notice that when we say book, it's now showing the entire month. A person can actually book into the future easily, say, let's say in February. They have the option to do that easily because we have changed this function. Usually, the normal thing is for the daily one, so we can leave it as it is. You can also change the name of uh, the page, the business name. As you can see, whenever someone wants to book here, uh, the main page name is what we see here, which is the company name. Or you can change it if you want so another important function that you can make use of is to put instructions for someone to read before they make a booking so all you have to do is to put the writing here you can even put uh, a link uh, pictures there any information that you want to place there uh, for for now just as an example we're just going to put a short paragraph uh, there and then we save these changes then we're going to preview how it looks like when someone puts instructions on a scheduling page. So we're going to look at a live page. As you can see, now that information comes here on top. So you can put instructions for someone to follow before they make a booking. You can change the day on which the week starts on, uh, depending on the view that you have chosen uh, here. Also, uh, you can change things like the time format. Uh, do you want it as a 24 hour or a 12 hour? You can also change the language and the time zone. You can also allow the people to change their own time zone. So this gives you more flexibility on your uh, scheduling page. There are also a few things you can change. For example, you can change the font of how your page is written. You can change even the text color, the background color. Just as an example, we want to change the uh, background color. Let's just make it a bit of um, green, I guess. That would, and then we uh, leave it as it is. We can also change it to here, the font to a bottle. Once we do that, we're going to make these changes and see how it comes out on the live page. There we go. You can see the green has changed, the font has changed. So you have control over some of uh, the colors that are there, how the page looks. Um, so mainly these are the main changes that you can change on the appearance without making use of code. You also have uh, control over a few other things. Uh, and this can be done using the scheduling page options. So these are more like the rules of how the page work. Uh, you can change. Uh, Things like adding a schedule, another appointment button, so that once a person finishes uh, scheduling, they have another button for that. You can also disable recurring appointments because by default, a person can uh, actually do recurring appointments. Uh, sometimes you want your clients to log in or register. So you can actually disable that function here because it comes as a default function. Sometimes you might not want to show the duration of your uh, classes or your events. You can make use of that button is there. There's this function where if you have categories, 
you the first time a person visits the page they can be collapsed because sometimes you might have a lot of events there so to make sure that it's not confusing uh, you'd have them collapsed so that the client can go through the category and then expand them uh, which makes it look tidier there's also uh, a QR code that you can make use of which is shown there however if you are someone who really wants to uh, change the aesthetics of the page uh, that you're working with uh, to make sure that it fits with your web page you can make use of advanced CSS this requires a bit of coding so if you are someone who doesn't have knowledge of coding you might just need to hire a person who knows how to code this will give you greater control over how the page works and how it looks so generally this is how you can customize the appearance of your pages